Hello. We, should... we, we made it here. We're live. Triforce We're Live. On. It's a pleasure. <laughs> Thank you for, oh. for joining us. Um, I'm yeah. here from a literal landfill site. Yeah. Tips is from a slightly tidier landfill site. I'm a Lewis prepper. is in the hallway of someone else's office wearing a poncho, I believe. Is that a poncho? <laughs> no, it's a nice warm jumper. I'm in my prepper I'm in my prepper bunk bunker with all my all the shit I want to take with me. Like an Egyptian pharaoh. I'm gonna be buried uh under uh under the uh post apocalyptic uh, Earth with all this stuff. I got an ironing board in here, uh, bikes, <laughs> a Play-Doh <Survival> <laughs> to keep me entertained. Yeah, yeah. So we normally record trifles on Thursdays at ten. Uh, so this is a bit off kilter, partly because yesterday you had to go and have a camera put into your penis. Yes, uh, sips. yes, I did. Uh, yeah. <laughs> which, Thanks which for just, bringing that up. We're That's just talking nice. about now. Yeah. Hey, it's, dick penis. health is important. I want to know. What was it like having a camera uh, How'd it go? down there? You know yeah. that friend you had at school who uh, did uh, martial arts or karate or yes, whatever, however you want to call it? I had exactly And they that. learn the pressure points and they come to school the next day <laughs> and they're like, hey, check this out. And you're like, what is it? And then they do the Vulcan death grip on you and you're yes. paralyzed for an instant while they, like, while they do it. And you're like, come on, stop. That's what it felt like. But oh. at, at, the, at, the, at the base of the shaft of your dick. <laughs> It's uh, it, I clenched up like crazy, like both of my ass cheeks clenched up so hard that I felt like I was like levitating above the bed because like the, you know, the muscle just like uh, thrust me up and the guy and the doctor was like, listen, can you, um, can you just relax your, uh, your bottom back into the bed? I was like, I can't, this is, this hurts. He's like, oh, well, we'll be really quick. Don't worry about it. Oh. And then, um. He was just like he was. He was in and out in like a minute. But uh, there's a screen next to me, and he's like, "Hey, look on the screen there. We're inside your bladder." And I was like, "Yes." And he's like, uh, "Yeah, you can see there's Surely like some you'd bumps and be holes watching and some like Breaking Bad or something. Or do you know what I mean? Anything else would have been the Apprentice. Man, look, even look just somebody screen here. It's the, uh, it's the it's Celebrity Island. Um, yeah, and you'd be like, "Oh," and then that would distract you from the what was going on, you know. But yeah. rather than like, "Oh, look inside." Dude, I don't want to see inside my own. Yeah, I, I mean, it was interesting enough, but like, it just, um, you know, if I was sitting there comfortably drinking tea and and watching it on TV, I would have been like, "This is really interesting." But right um, when it's your bladder, I was in a lot of pain, pain at the time, so I just couldn't really. <laughs> when couldn't, my daughter had my daughter it, had you know? to have stitches in her chin, and they, the, one of the nurses held her phone with Ben and Holly. Like you know, remember anyone remember Ben and Holly? Any Ben and Holly fans as a cartoon? They would held that up for her. It did seem to relax her quite a bit. They also gave her, uh, uh, what is it, the the gas and air? The, that's gas it. and air. I would have yeah. taken some gas and air. No, I, I think a little it, gas and air. Yeah, it's I think nos- a little bit of gas and air would have taken my mind off it a bit. I mean, they they put some like numbing gel like on my on my wiener and stuff, but they <laughs> he didn't leave it long enough for it to work. He yeah. just like okay, I'm putting some gel on. Boom, the camera's in. I was like, Jesus! <laughs> but like, uh, <laughs> luckily it was. Have you ever yeah, heard of it? Luckily, it was quick, and uh, it, like he he was in there for like a minute. He's like, yeah, it all looks fine. Uh, and then he's like, all right, uh, pump pump the water. I'm coming out, and like because he had like an assistant or whatever. And then the assistant's like, the water's pumping, and then boom, it was out. And after that, I just had to take a monster piss, and then uh, ever since then, I've, it's been just burning a little bit when I, when I pee, you know? When they say pump the water, were they filling your bladder with water? Yeah, they fill it up. Like, uh, like not not tons, like, just, just a bit, you know? Like, And I think also it helps, like, keep things moving a bit like when the camera is like you know going through the tubes and, and whatever okay. so there's basically like a little bit of water comes out of the uh the camera so the, you know? so the camera is getting a little underwater view sort of yeah it's like Jack, subnautica Jack in there. Cousteau yeah. Or, or it is yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> steve zizu yeah so yeah James, <laughs> James cameron we are here yeah. in chips's bladder uh, yeah, yeah a... fuck it. James Cameron would love to go. It looks down like the inside dick. of your bladder looks like, like, uh, you know, like the comically the outside of a brain. You know, it's like all bumpy and weird looking and stuff. That's what the inside of your bladder looks like. It just it's all like bumpy and uh, hmm. and, and it's God. yellow. As it's well. like a coral, like a, like a unidentified yeah. coral reef. Yeah, gross. yeah, gross. yeah. It's yeah. pretty gross. Yeah, but like... importantly, you're well. 
Yeah, it was all clear. He it's said, so, uh, so, so my issue seems to be that I don't have any, any issues with my prostate, which is a uh, relief. And there's no issues with my bladder. Yeah. Uh, he thinks that the neck of my bladder has narrowed. And he said, it just happens sometimes. And he said, you can take some pills, but if you take some pills, it'll open things up, but your blood pressure will be affected. So if you stand up quickly, you'll pass out. And oh, also. You won't be able to come anymore. So I was like, you know what? I'll just deal Jeez. with the weak flow. <laughs> yeah, I'd rather be able to get up really quick and come all over the place. Like yeah, exactly. I, you know what I mean? You might have to spring into action. Yeah. <laughs> like, you, can still, like, you can still have an orgasm and stuff. Just nothing will come out. I, apparently, it's a side effect of these pills. And he said if it got if it got really bad where it was like obstructed and he had to do like surgery on it or whatever, he said, you might never get a boner again and like stuff like that. But he said... It's it's just it's just narrowed a little bit. Like it's fine. I said, oh well, I'll just Jeez. I'll put up with it then. That I sounds like they could pills. use those things as uh, male birth control pills if nothing comes yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, kind of. Yeah, it's. Uh, I guess I guess it would be pretty effective. Honestly, it's not a, not really a bad thing because uh, I've already got too many kids. I don't <laughs> I don't want any accidents. <laughs> I don't want I don't want a fourth or a fifth or God, you know. Jeez. Definitely, yeah. the, the, we've we've noticed this year. You the kids have been more. It's suddenly. It was okay. It was okay. You could still do stuff. You could still go away sometimes. Yeah. And now it's like, and now it's just much. like, it's just impossible. <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, I, they, I mean, the baby is getting bigger and it's, it is like easing a little bit, but it's still like, still early days, you know? Yeah. She sleeps pretty be... good though. She's walking. She's, well, she wears shoes. <laughs> she wears shoes. She puts her shoes on and stuff. Like she's, she's getting there, but, um, it'll it's be quite hard a big to, age to go difference away. as well in your kids, actually. Surprisingly. Yeah. Well, 10 yeah, years. Like my, my middle, my middle kid just turned seven. So there's like a six year difference between her and, and the baby. And then there's a 10 year difference between my son and, uh, and the baby. So yeah, that's, some, yeah, that's some fairly big gaps, but. It's kind of nice because the baby will get to be a baby uh, a lot a lot longer sort of thing, right? Because she'll be the youngest. And by the time she, as she's growing up, the other two will just be out at the They'll disco. They'll be off and, doing their own thing. Yeah, yeah. exactly. So, I mean, it, it's, uh, it's, you know, there's pros and cons for sure, but Indeed. it's nice. It's good. I'd like to do a micro shout out, if I may. Uh, okay. If, if this counts. I, I got this on Amazon. When I was at TI, one of the makeup ladies showed it to me to clean my glasses. This is the Peeps spectacles cleaner which i got it has a brush that deploys from one end nice. and you take off your glasses and you carefully dust away very nice the stuff and then i like that yeah you take off like that and it's got this clamp and you clamp it onto your spectacles like so and it cleans both sides at the same time i've never had cleaner glasses ladies and gentlemen really Great. Peeps. Yeah, I ever tempted to get laser eye surgery or, or anything. We, like, uh, we spoke about this in a previous episode. You, you could, yeah, you I know, but uh, I, you I know, can't remember what the outcome was. We spoke about it as in, was. okay, well, the outcome was my the surface of my eyes is too thin. Oh. And the guy said, no, we can't. The best we could do is implant um, contact lenses Thick under the eyes. surface of your eye. Uh, and he said, but we'd want to give you these new ones that are coming out that are reading glasses and regular lenses at the same time. That implants. So I, I previously never had very focals or bifocals or anything like that, and that's what I have now. Uh, these are reading glasses and long, far-sighted glasses, all in one, and it takes a bit of getting used to. It does. Uh, but after do you have a to month, put them. Do you have to to like poise them on the end of your nose to look down through no. like the right? Oh no. Okay. No. So you see the way they're quite. They are quite. They're a couple of big old bins. This bottom part here is for reading. So right. I just have to sort of so you look have to down. Read like this. I just have to sort of look down. But if I look like that, it sort of goes wrong. So I have to keep my eye, my head up. But when I'm going down the stairs, I have to comically look down like a robot, sort of because <laughs> I need to use the long side. <laughs> you make the part. noise as well. I do. <laughs> nice. <laughs> like that. So if nice. I need to look at something beneath me, I have to really look over, and I have to like turn my head like this to look because there's no peripheral vision to them because of the way the lenses are. So. It's made me a bit more robotic and turny, but it is an improvement. So well, I bought something old manny this week. So I bought this pair of like um, 
compression arthritis gloves or whatever for hands because I felt my hands were getting really cold when I was playing games and <laughs> I thought like this might help. The fingertipless gamer I glove. Know. Oh, you've, you've become that person. <laughs> it's awful, isn't it? Yeah, it um, looks fucking really creepy. I don't know why, I, but this happens when what it's, is it's, it's, it's of, not like, like latex I'm, or It's not something? like I've got the heating turned off or anything. It's not like I'm no. living it. I'm not like some cheapskate or I'm freezing. I've got well, like, like our like galleries are pretty gadgets. big though. They're kind of so, hard to heat you know so, yeah that like, art gallery is gonna get cold in the winter yeah yeah if this not art properly gallery insulated is, in there well, they're quite my, open and airy aren't this they? is my uh, i did this you know yes. that's my you've art put your, you've put mm. your own art on the wall well, well well no one else will put it on the wall <laughs> maybe my mum will i send her one <laughs> But, yeah, Do you well, have I, any giant pictures of yourself around the house as well? Like no, the, I've the got other those walls? in the office. I've got a couple of giant pictures of myself <laughs> at the office. <laughs> nice. <laughs> but you know, you got to put something on the walls, haven't you? I can't. I can't have empty walls or buy some like ikea artwork you know i've got to have something that means something um, yeah, why don't you go to b&q they have like uh like cheap uh pictures you know you can get like a picture of marilyn monroe or like uh they have like those pictures of like kate moss but there's like some uh some glitzy bling like on her um titties or whatever you know like they they they, they do those pictures right like you can just you can you get but would them you just, want hey, one of those like that's just like to have a picture. Well, it looks like somebody's. It looks like a, like a baboon is loose in uh, in Lewis's <laughs> flat and threw shit all over the wall uh, mm. currently. So yeah, I think I would rather have. Okay. The those aren't your only two choices. I'm just saying. No, yeah, I know, I know, I know. This is a, this is they do look like someone's thrown shit at them actually but that's part of it you know you, you see did, what you want is to that see. how you did it did you have to like uh put like a sponge in the paint and then throw like little sponges at it or did was it was just like i don't want to give away my uh, <laughs> secrets <laughs> no, yeah, yeah. yeah. Painting bad shit. did you paint it the way that lady did in uh what was it called the uh, big lebowski where she flies naked on a on a sort of zip line above the paint and goes like that with her brushes as she goes over the canvas <laughs> is that how you did yeah. it yeah that's you got you got to put that kind of um that's story the art. behind it that's know. the art that's the art um so yeah it was, i was nearly late this morning and i'm doing it from home of course i should be in the studio but um this is more I, intimate. I was, you I was having a at home got stand at desk at home Yep. Jesus. And uh, I, I had a washing machine delivered this morning. Three men. I didn't know whether they would make it in time because they said a they gave me a window man between... Three-man job, really? Between, they gave me a window between nine and, and one. That was the surprise. Oh, yeah, that's the... And, of course, they turn up at, you know, 20 past 12. Yeah. And... Um, rush around and just i don't even even know if they've properly set it what up what make it's a washing of, machine it's kind of satisfying when they get in though right <laughs> so once they're Find in out. they're just like they go like the clappers you know they get they everything do, they done really get it over quick. With, right? yeah, yeah of they course yeah. they know you know the no... uh, the russian spy house behind me is is having work done on it because they want to want to rent it out hold on right. we're gonna find oh, out now here we go it's He's a back. it's a logic i have never heard of that brand um, should have gone for a Bosch. You should have gone, gone for a Miele. You get, a Miele. It? Miele's pretty good. A Bosch. Uh, you could have also gotten a um, Kenmore. <laughs> I don't think they even make Kenmores anymore. Miele, baby. I yeah, think it's just the cheapest that, one yeah. my landlord could could buy. He went to like Curry's or .com or whatever the fuck you ever you buy. What's the cheapest washing machine you've got? Well, we've got this. Yeah, that one. That one. The one that's the... The display model that someone's been resting their tea teacup on in the warehouse, that one. That'll do for the likes of him. Yeah. So so that's that's what I'm dealing with. Uh, nice. I and it's a combination a a... washer dryer, right? So you can just you can you can dry your underpants as soon as you've washed them in the same machine. The, well, yeah, I think so. I I don't I'm gonna have, so. have to figure it out. I, I I've just the problem is the old one just was slowly going wrong. Like it wouldn't open after cycles and it was like not taking fabric softener, you know, and it, it was just like gradually becoming just falling apart. And right. so obviously now I've just replaced it with another cheap one. Again, this is just, this is just what happens. Um, but this morning I had a bit of fright cause I was going through some of the washing and, um, I saw this like fl flicker, like a flitter in my cupboard. And I realized, I thought, fuck, is that like a moth? And then I looked Don't around. Say and that, like, but that's my trigger word. There's like some moth. moths in my cupboard on my clothes and i'm Mon like Mothma. shit so i went through the whole cupboard and pulled everything moths. out and i found like four or five little clothes moths oh there. dude we've had a problem with moths for about three years now i don't know what to do i'll tell you what you gotta do you gotta find out where the fuckers are nesting and it's not just on your clothes all right you can get these moth traps 
and moth bombs that will kill them, but there'll be something in your house. We found out that it was, over the winter, we've got a hammock, one of those deployable hammocks in the garden. It's like a metal frame, and you just hang the hammock material off it. It's really nice. We brought that in over winter, rolled it up, and it was there. And they are looking for somewhere where there are little crevices and cracks, preferably fabric, but organic material will do. And they'll nest in there, and they weave these little silken pouches, and they have all their babies, and they, oh, their babies are in there. And occasionally they'll just hatch out, and you'll see fucking moths. You're like, where are they fucking coming from? Went through our cupboard. There was an old bag of flour at the back of the cupboard. And all along the crack there where it was folded over were moths and moth eggs and things like that. Yeah, you can have a, yeah hunt around because they will fucking get everywhere. Their pantry moths are the ones that are little flippy brown. They go like, like they're, they're not like big graceful moths. They're like little flappy brown, very plain moths. They're pantry moths, I think they're called. And clothes moths are very similar. We see them all over the house. Not anymore because we cleaned out. We found the nest. And the last nest we found, my youngest daughter found it. She was like, I reckon they're coming from that jar of potpourri that we had from last Christmas. <laughs> Mrs. F had made a jar. She got a vase. She put a load of pine cones and stuff in it, put some scented things in there. And it was a nice Christmas potpourri. Po now the potpourri. Po po and the, the po fuckers had invaded it. It was now, it was moth -pourri. They were coming out of the woodwork. So we Holy actually crap. chucked it all away. That's why you should no never let nature into your house. You should never, like, if you're going to buy a potpourri, po you should buy a store-bought one because they're demothed. If yeah. you're bringing right. pine cones in and stuff from outside, you exactly. don't know where those things have been. You don't know what's on them either. There might be some larvae on there yeah. or something, right? Also, we tend to have the back door open in the summer. They come in. They find somewhere to settle down, and they make a nest, and then you got moths up your fucking up your penis. I tell you what, you think a camera's bad? Imagine a bunch of moths. Shooting I up could not there. imagine having a couple of moths in my penis after Boy. having that camera in there. You know what? It's, uh, it's you're not designed to have anything in there, honestly. Indeed. Like you're only Indeed. designed to for some for some pee pee to come out, and that's it. And also <laughs> some other stuff to come out too, but. <laughs> Nothing should really go in there. Like it, you, there's a, it's sensitive and it burns. At, you know, like when something's gone in there, and it's not meant to be in there. It burns after. Like it's like the lining is, it's all fucked up. You know. Well, look, you, you'll get better. I can tell this has made you grumpy. <laughs> no, no, Don't it's worry. fine. Uh, you know what? Like a couple of my pisses, like uh, since yesterday, because it was yesterday morning. There was burning, and you know what? Just before we started the podcast, I've been uh, making sure that I'm keeping hydrated because I don't want to get an infection. Went for a pee, no burning. It's Fantastic. already passed out. There I'm you a, go. It's a, I'm a, there you go. I don't know how I do it. Like, my recovery <laughs> times are just incredible. Like It's, uh, it's like Congrats. I never even had it, you know? It's like Congrats. only just over 24 hours, boom, no burning. So I've just forgotten, but we are doing this live. Um, yeah. I sort of forgot that we were for a second. Just to let people know this is this is a thing. We can uh, They can ask. It's pickaxe. Potentially, week. this could be mailbag live. Now, some people obviously don't love the oh, mailbag. Yeah. We, but well, the majority one of people person. One really person. It well, was it the one person where you read his email as well? Where he was just like being. No, I don't think I read his email. Oh. Okay, look, Lollip is in chat. Says. Lamau, hi. Got that? That's not a question. Um, yeah, that's Lollip, not a, not a that's not helpful. I'm just going to do all the same stuff that I do when we normally do this. Okay. Exactly. Pretend Absolutely. like the cameras aren't on. I'm checking my phone. I'm, I'm going to read some stuff on the internet while you guys are talking. If you guys want to start talking about something or whatever, you know I, what I, I mean. I got a question. I got yeah. a question. See if anyone in chat knows what this could be. I logged uh, logged off my computer last night or oh, night before last sorry what do you and mean logged off like <laughs> I, I i turned it off right okay. right i turned it you off. you didn't just sign out of it and leave it on like no no because I, I, I used to do another that. Sesh mate, tomorrow no, or whatever my mate was like you really shouldn't leave it on i was like i thought it used hardly any power and it basically goes to sleep he was like well it's bad for the components and all the rest of it i was like fair enough so i started turning it off every night i always thought that it was better for it to be on like, that uh, was what. No, I don't know if that's true, but that was the that was what I was basing my opinion on was that the constant surging of electricity when you turn it on is what's bad for the components and all the rest of it. Yeah. But I I can't imagine that it just sitting there with electricity buzzing around it continually, wearing and tearing it, the little electrons smashing into things all the time. That can't be good either. And it is using electricity uh, all the time. And the fucking cost of energy these days, mate, has gone through a bloody roof. Yeah, so tell, well tell me about. It we're heading to we're we're heading for one of the biggest economic slumps uh, my my young mind can even remember. Like it's uh, crazy, it's right? The next two years is going to be pretty pretty bad. So so yeah. turn that fucker off. So anyway, I turn it on the next morning, and it signed me out of everything, absolutely everything, every single website, everything. So something must have happened 
overnight with Windows or something where all the cookies have been d- removed. Hmm. My browser history is the same. My homepage on Google where it has all the websites, all that's fine. So it hasn't like, it's not a profile thing. All my cookies were deleted or something happened to Windows where they were like, we're going to have to wipe all the cookies. It's a whole security change or whatever. Something's happened. But I had to re-sign back into fucking everything. It's a, it's, it, I just wonder, what did I do? Did I do something wrong? Was this Windows? Was it me? Was it Bill? Check, was check it, a PC for moths, chat is suggesting. Have a good yeah. mo- they, look for moths. They, they may moths have in eaten there. the cookies. There's the cookie, cookie monster is a suggestion here. I mean, like, every once in a while, stuff will sign you out, though, right? I think maybe if you turned your computer off and maybe if a driver updated or something, maybe like a signature is, is different and it's just like double checking to make sure that it's actually you and you're you know because i or maybe you picked up like a different like ip uh address like or in a different range or something like that when you turned it back on and that's enough because sometimes like sites will try to profile you based on certain things mm-hmm. right so if so if one of those things has changed it might think hang on a second this guy's signing in but he's not signing in from the maybe. usual place or something like that you know maybe i yeah. think all of this stuff from watching a lot of crime it's probably someone who did it it's one what, of like, first, like first-hand crime, or you've it's been, one of you've been watching? I'm a, <laughs> yeah. I'm a crime watcher. I think you think it's... <laughs> I scour the streets looking happened. for crime so I can watch it. But the likelihood it it's one of your kids was on your computer when you weren't there, and they were or like, Mrs. oh, Earth. Might have been Mrs. Earth. Yeah. Wait, do that's... you let your your family use your computer? No. No, I mean, I would not either. Like, well, not no, that I have, I don't have anything to hide. I just Yeah, but you don't have a choice. They're going to be in there sneaking in when you're not looking. They are not. When you're away. My kids are never on my computer they are, will never on here. they've got they, their they, own they stuff trouble. they got they their got own, their own. Co- they got their they, bikes and a computer back there they got all sorts of shit back there they don't need to go on my computer there's nothing on here that's of any interest to them i don't want them accessing my 800 plus games steam library without <laughs> me knowing about it exactly <laughs> 800 Dems rookie numbers i know um, well it's i you know it's because i don't buy games i just wait for people to give them to me so it's, uh, it's low numbers but honestly the amount of money i've spent on games not not really that much 10 years of nice. jam though like yeah you know it's true it, that'll, it all adds that'll up, give yeah. up like that'll give you a lot of games i got yeah. 2793 games Jeez. in my steam library that's yeah, a lot of games there's Actually, how games, do you check? Yeah. How do you check how many you have i'm gonna check you just you just sort by you just have all just have no no filter on your no filter Steam library. Oh, I have eight hundred and fifty six games, oh. twelve soundtracks, one video, and one hundred and ninety three tools. Six hundred and four. <laughs> I don't know what all those tools are are for, but six hundred and four. Yeah, six hundred and four. Oh. But I put a lot of hours into. Some but of those yeah, football boys. managers. Each one has got like thousands of thousands. Currently of hours. cranking the the current one. For any football manager fans, I took Lake Norian up to League One. We got into the playoffs. We lost six one on aggregate to it, switching the playoffs in the first round. That's a that's disgraceful. Yeah, oh. but you know that's better than we expected. We got a no, we got a message in chat from Tan Blatchman. That's a bodega reference. Oh, Tan he Blatch- says. How was meeting that porn star at T.I. Flax? Oh, yeah, Eva Flax. Elfie? I've never <laughs> seen that porn star before, Flax, which actually I was quite pleased about because it means that... I didn't uh, recognize her. I genuinely didn't recognize her. Like a hand to heart, I did not recognize her. Yeah. And I saw pictures on socials and stuff of various players with someone like, I was like, who's she? And someone was like, oh, that's Eva Elfie. I was like, oh, was she like a streamer or something? They were like, no, she's a porn star. I was like, oh. <laughs> so what I was she Elfie's doing at T.I.? Just making content. Just making, making content. Yeah, really? she was there with... God, who was she with? One of the fucking cryptos. Like making like whatever. porn content at TI. Yeah. It might have been 1x bet, actually, that she was there. Yeah, right. Someone, Some betting or crypto shit. All the usual nefarious suspects right. that loiter around esports events. So she, she was, was just, there filming content. She was just filming a porn in uh, at TI. Not a porn. She was oh. in interviews. She interviewed me. And oh, she interviewed right. a bunch of other people. Anyone that she saw that was associated with the production, she'd be up and say, can I have an interview? And I was like, innocently, I was like, sure. And then Hand she was to like, cock, uh, I did not recognize her. People. Man, well, okay, but what if what if she's interviewing you and you didn't realize that it was for a porn, and then so she's interviewing you and you're like, yeah, whatever and stuff. Well, and then she's like, it's getting hot. In here. No, no, and then it cuts over to like the the part where they're fucking, <laughs> and there's a there's a there's a lookalike of you stunt double 
fucking this Johnny girl. Sins. They get Johnny Sins yeah, in. Yeah, they the, can get somebody in. This some bald guy with glasses. Johnny Sins. Just never show like a real close up of his face. And then they, <laughs> so they've made a porn off the I'd back that. of that interview with you. I'd yeah. love that. I'd love that. That'd, That'd be, be the crazy. ultimate fantasy. Yeah. Hi, I'm here yeah. to. I've, I hear you ordered a new washing machine. <laughs> you think you, you think your wife would be angry if that happened to you though? Like, because like, it's not if my it, fault is it? Well, no, it's not. But it's still kind of like you know, maybe your reputation would be like impacted a little bit or something. You I don't, don't have know. a fucking reputation. Dude. What the fuck? <laughs> Nothing's being impacted. What's being impacted? Better than it would be good. Hold on. Hello. Mm. What's up? Is that a cup of tea? Bless you, woman. Oh. This is the stuff that gets cut from the podcast. It doesn't but, uh, normally, though, does it? Does it not? Oh, yeah. oh, the doorbell ring. I don't know. I don't listen back to them. Is there lots of long silences while Flax answers his door and stuff generally on the podcast or no? Oh, a cup of tea. That's um, Jay for Jingle Jam. Jay for Jingle Jam. Sometimes we just pop to the loo in the middle or something and have a little... We can't do that now. Um, you can. Well, who cares? It's a... We're here for like an hour and a half, dude. Something like that. you got to go. you got to go. Man, we're here for an hour and a half. In. I'm gonna have to go pee at some point because I can exactly. feel one it's coming no on. Like, go pee, no go problem. pee whenever. Go, no... Okay, I will. Yeah. I will. I, do, I, I don't need to yet. I'll hold it for a bit. I like oh, to. Yeah. I like to build up a big piss. You know, like because I things, don't like to things go are off weak too down often. there. Yeah. If I also, go too I soon, it's it. really weak. It's a depressing. But, but I also, dude, I think it's not healthy. You've what, got to hold it in a bit. To hold in a monster piss. Yeah, no, no, because to go too often, you weaken your bladder's ability to to hold on. Mm-hmm. Right, it's like training. So you gotta, you gotta hold on a bit. You should need to go. You shouldn't just go every fucking ten minutes. I need to go, but I don't oh, need to. Shoulder, Jesus! <laughs> oh, I must have slept funny. My shoulder's fucking killing me. Oh, We're so my old, God, my God! What is happening to us? This is like we're talking about dick cameras. How we're peeing. We're talking about how often we need to go. Cold my hands, fucking shoulders ruined. Moths. Anyone got a tip? My shoulder's killing me. It's like right inside. I must have slept funny. It's you so need a, funny. You need bad. a. You need a masseuse. I do you need, need a. a uh, you need to go and have uh, your your knots um, taken out. It's from sitting in a chair too much all day. You gotta go that. lift some weights. I wanna, I wanna you, you know what? You wouldn't get that if you had um, muscles in your shoulders. And your arms, it was all tightened up, you know? I got muscles in my shoulders, baby. I can fucking lift some shit. Can you? I couldn't, I couldn't turn the cold water tap in my flat to turn it off. I think it's seized. What? Uh, let's just put like, a Get some WD-40 down. on it, John. Get some WD-40 on it. <laughs> it's old pipes, though. It's like it's one of those old copper... Fuck, this place is... I really ought to get my own place at some point. It's rent, rent is that, not, You've been it's saying that way. as long as I've known you, bud. I know. I'm just too... I don't, I don't need much. I'm just in a like, little flat. I don't want a bigger house or even a house. It would just be me in there. This is fine. Like, yeah. I've got me and my moths... Um, and you've really personalized it. And your just, art. Uh, me. You got all yeah. your art to. You, maybe you should start doing some different kind of art to keep you company, you know? Like, you could become an anime artist. Don't do that. Um, you could draw your, your girls. <laughs> 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 you could draw your French girls. Draw your waifus. Draw start your fucking doing waifus. Fan, <laughs> fan art. So, welcome. I mean, welcome. This is my, uh, my humble abode. Uh, <laughs> the, these are my many waifus. Uh, don't touch I think the all the artists we've got at Yogs are like pervs as well. Because Nina drew that like um, fan art of Simon as a, as Simon's sexy cats for Christmas, and that's her favourite Jingle Jam moment apparently. Right. Um, and it was like all artists sort of, are perverts. All artists. It was are like perverts. a semi furry uh, thing. I think Nina would be like. Well, happy how do you explain doing, this like, one? I'm not an art artist, and porn. I'm a big pervert. So, uh, right. but you Checkmate, don't have you know. to be. You don't have to be an artist to be a pervert. But if True. you're an artist, Harry too. you are a pervert. Harry would be happy doing like cursed art like daily, you know, if he was if if he would if he was into it. You know, like like or not. He would just be like, Yeah, sure, I'll 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 knock together some some pervy stuff. He's um <sighs> Someone in chat said, like, did Simon mentioned, like, that we recruited Harry when we were 15. I just want to put it out there that we didn't hire a 15-year-old. No, At least he was, I didn't know about him. Okay, it. we knew about him, like, because he did some, some channel art for us way, way, way back in the day. Harry was originally a Sips fan, yeah. for sure, and did some, like, channel backgrounds. This must be 12 years ago now. 2011. And, um... And then eventually, yeah. eventually, he, he we recruit we we yeah he, when he was like old enough when he you guys when he finished school him. or whatever I don't know yeah. or college <laughs> I don't know what he did he did he did a thing we didn't but and with Sarah it's similar she she's not fifteen years old Sarah <laughs> Yogg talk she's like <laughs> in her twenties it's fine she's uh 
We're not she looks hiring, younger. We're not hiring she children. does look young. We, it looks she like look it. Good. Yeah. Um, Man, I did that thing where when you're sitting in your chair. This does not sound good, does it? It sounds like I'm what? backtracking. No, you can, you can talk about children. There's no problem with that. I mean, we, we, we own five between us, so... You know, children are something we're familiar with. Yeah, but you with. don't put them to work. We do know you? about. I the... fucking wish I could, son. Man, believe I do me, push. I, put, I put, do put yeah. mine to work. I, I say, shit clean the house. this Thank lounge. You. I come in from a long day of work, and I I, 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 I take one look at the lounge, and I say, "You kids better clean this lounge. You better clean this shit up." My you... kids do the dishwasher every day. Holy every day shit. they have to unload the dishwasher. I got to get mine uh, on that as well. Actually, that'd be good. The dishwasher and uh, what else? They clean their rooms. I gotta get them on yeah. some out outdoor tasks as well. Like, yeah, I Raking think the leaves and shit. We like do that. that right? they, they do, like, we do I make them do we that. We can get the dishwasher yeah. done in like less than a minute. I don't consider that less to than be a minute. A good yeah, but you're alone, time. mate. We're talking a dishwasher for four. You're doing a dishwasher right. for one, right? So four people. You're not like doing so a dishwasher quick. for one, are you? I've got. Like, I can unload you, the dishwasher be, right now. Okay, but like what? Like one plate, like one fork, one. Like, do you run it like, or do you let it like, like build up a bit? It's like don't the plates and stuff get stinky if they're if you're letting a big load like uh, accumulate because like we have well, a meal and it has to go on like it's it's fucking rammed yeah like it's like so you could full. use the rinse if it's not like half if it's half full but oh I guess yeah yeah I, I mean the pro- the problem we've got is when you've got young kids they will use a cup <laughs> they will drink water from a cup and put it on the side and then when they want another drink of water they'll take a different cup. Yeah. So you just end up with fucking a hundred. We got we vessels. got some bottles for them to to use. They they have to take bottles to school with them, and then they just keep drinking from that when they get home. Yeah. Because otherwise, deal. the cups it would just be too much. You just fucking you're inundated. It's like an ocean of cups. Cups all over the damn place. Can't move. No. Um. Yeah. Oh, I've had a WhatsApp message. Big load accumulating. It was, me. <laughs> was the, the thing that chat was about. <laughs> well, well. You can't let a big load accumulate so, yeah. in the uh, <laughs> build up. You got to let it out. Release you know. the load. You got to like turn that release valve occasionally and just hope for the best my part period my 27 year old fiance still does the cup thing yeah I, I, all right so here's the question astro 570 which is the the question is my 27 year old fiance still does the cup thing she's just moved on to wine glasses here's my question does she have to do the washing up or the dishes at all or is this something that you do because if not you know you should just do the most passive aggressive thing possible just wash your stuff and then be like well that's your stuff. You wash your stuff. I'll wash my stuff. If you want to be a dick about it, you can just fucking suck it up, wash the cups and glasses. Job done. It's really up to you. Mm, yeah. I, w- I wouldn't do the passive aggressive things. Dog shit thing to do. Is yeah, it supposed to be us asking best. him the questions or. No, we, ask we answer them. questions. We don't ask questions. Well, we, we just, questions. you just did, though. We're, we're no, problem we solvers, not problem yeah, creators. Indeed. Although right. some of our answers may create other problems, we don't intend. That's not to our create. problem. Hey, That's what did you guys problem. think of the uh, the uh, mid mid uh, <laughs> midterm election results in, uh, in America? You want to talk about that? Couldn't give a fuck. I, th- I do. Th- I think it's fascinating the amount of media presence the American elections have over here. I hadn't heard about this red wave, but apparently no red wave came or something. I don't know what the right. heck is going on. They over thought there. it was going to be like Trump You've will spent win us a lot all these elections. On your phone How did people figure that? He's not popular. Like, why did they think that he was going to do well in, in this because midterm election? Because the media election? presents it. Like, he it does a like rally the... every week to the same five people. Like, it's like, <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> he's basically like has his own Reddit. Uh, like, that he, he just like, you know, gets on a soapbox and and shouts at or whatever and it's the same people turning up every time but, but so he thinks that he's popular because he does these things and they're jam-packed or, or whatever so he, like, he did an interview where he said if everything works um they will say it was wasn't because of me and if everything goes wrong they'll say it was my fault and something like that like he he thinks the opposite is true he thinks if the republicans do well it's because of him and if they do poorly, it's because they didn't do enough. And now, so now they're blaming yeah. young people because they're saying that young people aren't voting Republican, and that's right. a, and that's a problem. But, but historically, they haven't. Like that's what no. gets me. Historically, the voting scale has pretty much always been the same. It always will be. More uh, younger people tend to be more liberal, and as people get older, they tend to become more conservative. And but the thing is, what is conservative when you're sixty may not have been conservative when you were eighteen. You might not have changed much. Society has kind of changed behind you, if you like, as you're progressing through life. If you consider what a conservative in the 1950s looked like compared to a conservative now, I'm not talking a Trumpist supporter, I'm talking about just a, your regular conservative, mm-hmm. you might say that that's changed a huge amount. It has, yeah. Do you reckon so, Trump's... 
I think the I think that they the abortion thing has alienated a lot of people. But do you reckon because Trump's a big baby, right? He thinks that if people have more babies, they'll be like him and vote Republican. Is right. That, they'll be well, more no, family the, oriented if they have a family. So the, the push the push amongst is the super like the super Trump guys is um the I don't if I don't want to talk about politics too much. But have you heard about like the great replacement theory, which is a lot of right wing nutters push this idea that white people are being bred out of existence in their countries yeah. and so we need more white people to have babies. So that's a big sort of push for a lot of the, the ultra far right in America and not so much in Britain, but I'm sure it's Well, a man, I've done my part in that uh, crusade because <laughs> fuck me, I have too many too, too many white babies. You want white sure. kids? I got you white I kids right here. I got fucking a million white kids in my house right now, you sons of bitches, so uh, you better be happy. But, I, read I, mean, a thing, I saw a thing this week that was like, you know, we it's, it's certainly in England or in the UK, the, 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 the great funny thing about immigration is that they didn't come here first we went to their country took it over yeah and they made them a british subject and then they were like oh i could go anywhere in in, in the commonwealth now and obviously that was something i don't know that if you can really great. do that though i think in theory people like saying, to think that if you're part of the commonwealth you can but like when i moved over here i was i moved over from a commonwealth country to to the uk and it was tough like if we weren't getting married there's no way i would have been able to come over here like it's just you know what I mean. Like and and yeah. Canada's a Western country, a rich rich country. You know, like it and and it and it was it was difficult without you know having like yeah I was I I was educated everything and it would have been really hard for me to come to come over here even though it was a wait but you're talking about and, to Jersey right? well or to the UK like you have to you have to you, basically to get to Jersey in the first place you have to to immigrate through the uk so you have to go through like the british consulate and everything and then come over and then take the extra step to go to jersey sort of thing right because it's all it's all linked together that's separate but but linked but yeah it, like it, you have to do it and uh with, but if if i wasn't coming over to 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 specifically get married they would have just said no you can't come over even though i would have been you know i could i could have gone up to the team big time yeah i was i was, I was educated i was ready to, ready to go i was ready to get my my hands dirty you know and they would have said talking no. about politics as well obviously you mentioned that there's like a cost of living crisis okay yeah i i, sh- okay, I, I uh, this is obviously not affected terrible. by this so uh, <laughs> i can't imagine that it exists uh no i <laughs> i read this week that it is obviously going to put Three three hundred fifty million people into food insecurity, which is their new way of saying in Britain people alone, starve to that's death. That's unbelievable. Right? It's terrible. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, it's just such a bullshit way of saying. It. But on the bright side, um, here we go. Here this we go. Is kind of like a carbon tax, right? Um, for the climate. If look, I'm not one of these climate crazy people who's going to jump over a gantry of the M25 and block up the block but up you the want people to be poor right? and die so they pollute like the planet one, less. That's for is sure. that where you're going no i'm just saying that like um if there were less people there wouldn't be as much pollution that's all i'm saying so uh, no hold on my theory is right the more people starve to death the better it is for the rest of us left behind yeah that's obviously not where i was going i think um, it's, a really, it's a really it's a really like a uh, conservative <laughs> thing to say that like uh like the world has its own way of uh of of evening out or whatever right Na- well, that's natural the Gaia, selection the Gaia and stuff theory, like that isn't it the guy theory I'm where set, the earth is I'm a just, living thing I'm, I'm setting up this by saying obviously we need to do something to help people in, and it's and it's such a a nasty way like food insecurity is such a nasty way of saying people are gonna starve to death you know it's it's kind of like hiding the problem it's like oh, no, food insecurity doesn't sound like that much of a problem but it's like collateral it, damage right? it obviously is a huge huge problem my thing is that a lot of people who were before probably fairly wasteful in the middle class are, are now delaying putting their central heating on they're using less energy they're being much more conscious about the environment because of money right hey wait do you guys have uh are you do you guys have like uh like 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 uh different tariffs like for your your energy and stuff where where you guys are flax do you do you have times of the day where like electricity costs more than others and stuff i guess what i'm no, I we don't do. have that. What, <laughs> no, 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 no. To, we do. I guess what I'm tr- that's really interesting. I yeah. guess what I'm trying to say is that 
is the is this cost of living crisis going to be good for the environment is that like a side effect of of things you know not obviously because people are dying but because of starvation if that's even a thing that's going to happen is is this because I, I like free economics i like listening everyone in chat is just saying no it's not good for the environment well this is the thing what happened with COVID what do they know was, well, what do they know they're sitting at home watching twitch that's right. Actually, that's true, chat. You don't know. Well, um, even worse, I, I most of them know. aren't at home. They're in. They're 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 hiding they're away like a squirrel in a bathroom at uh, at an office. Not or... even doing their jobs, yeah. lads. You, a I bunch mean... of either unemployed people, students, or layabout workers. Yeah, are Obviously... watching this, and apparently they know what they're doing. The thing yeah. is, like this, this has happened time and time again, right? Uh, COVID. You know, th- there was a the big sort of idea that oh, the climate was was better because. Um, you know, people weren't going out, and in well, the, the financial the crisis as well, weren't, were, there weren't as many flights as well. Which... In the in the in the climate in the in the financial crisis, there was this huge shutdown of lots of stuff, which was obviously terrible. But it did help the climate, okay. But then How much did it help did it, though? This... Did it cool? Well, did, the, did the world I don't cool think it... down? Well, the, by well, like well a... the, the, what happened was though, the degree? stimulus that they put out after the financial crisis undid all of the good. <laughs> inverted commas good that came out right. of um the the the, 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 the and i think it's a similar thing this year and I, I i just wonder like i don't know because i i'm fascinated by these like ideas that you think you know what or i think it sounds like something would be good for the environment right if everyone was using electricity they would try they were wearing more jumpers they were saving money they were like you know not wasting as much that sounds good but in reality does that actually lead to more pollution because food is like being made cheaper or people are doing like what what's what actually happens like it's I very need Simon complicated Clark isn't it to like it's look very into complicated this. because it often isn't the answer you think it's going to be it's not you know people struggling is not necessarily gonna help the any, anything you know it, it might lead to slower uptake of you know um environmental like um power supplies and sources and stuff you know people might start going back to burning like wood again and like more coal again you know to to stay warm you know is how where much the hell are they gonna, gonna get like... coal to burn I, like i like I, where? the ground you have to you fucking they'd the have to import it now, coal right again. there's no they're not they're not excavating it here they still i'm not suggesting coal? the people who are going into food yeah. insecurity i'm uh, i chat, thought they closed all the mines down watching chat we, oh, still use, we still use coal. Just don't I, read chat. I don't you know anything, get, chat. No. As you know, this is not the podcast for informed discussion. It's right, the but podcast you haven't, for hold on, you me haven't having been, weird uh, theories about stuff yeah, and but asking that's it. you. You're not saying this is true. You're asking questions. I think that's fine. I think if you can't ask questions and say... What is the deal with that? And this is all very complicated. All I'm people saying like, no, is, you're wrong. Is can't we not say something fact? good out of the cost of living crisis? Because it's all very negative, <laughs> right, at the moment. <laughs> I'm just saying, is there, any, is there a bright side? Do you know what I mean? I'm trying to make a clickbait uh, conspiracy theory that nice. somehow you know that this saying is there's no turn such thing well. as a stupid question. That's bullshit. There's a lot of it's stupid just, questions. Like, are. really dumb fucking questions, right? Like, whoever whoever came up with that quote has not spent a single minute in Twitch chat, I would wager, right? <laughs> there's no way. Because yeah. there's a lot of dumb fucking questions. Hey, here's, a, here's, another, here's another story I was reading just today. I was watching a video. Which country do you think is the cocaine capital of Europe? It's got to be uh like uh it's got to be like uh Belarus or like uh like Romania or some somewhere like that. Some somewhere Lewis, No looking at Twitch chat either of you. I think I for some reason I think it's like The Czech Republic, S- Italy or something or Spain. No. It is Belgium. Oh shit, I was close. Okay. I was close. Belgium. Belgium is the cocaine capital. Cocaine of the world. capital. Yeah. Wow. A lot, all lot of cocaine goes in there. Um and there are a few reasons. A few reasons. All, all these Balkan gangs went to Belgium and have set up these these uh, drug drug empires out of there. You ship it over from South America. Right? Belgium has a lot of you know shipping container yards, a lot of ports and stuff. Come it comes into Belgium and disseminates through Europe. From this there. is the this they is set the, up I there. played the campaign of modern warfare too. A little Here bit we go. It. Right. And Did you do a first, big cocaine bust in uh, well, like port, the, the port of Belgium? Mission, well, okay, so the plot of Modern Warfare 2, not really Don't spoiler. spoil it. Who okay. cares? Uh, is 
that an Iranian general <laughs> has teamed up with Russian arms dealers and Mexican drug cartels, or possibly Colombian. It's like Sesame Street. Why do Street, they bother bad, with guys? this shit? Like uh, they, they, <laughs> they, they, they get a ten-year-old to write this stuff, and they go and to they Amsterdam. Put it into a game. It's so dumb. And they for set a, up for a weekend. This, like they smuggle this missile through Amsterdam. Um, We're taking the missile to Amsterdam. <laughs> it's like the. It's, Why are it's, you taking it to Amsterdam? There's nothing in Amsterdam. We are take to Amsterdam, <laughs> and it's we blow it up. This, th- no, they're not blowing Amsterdam up. They're using it because it's a, it's got such an l- open port or something, and so all the drugs come in there. Right. right. And now so I thought this was all bollocks, but now you're telling me. Belgium next door is yep. the cocaine capital. That's yeah, right. I've, the the Netherlands is number two. So. I can it suddenly makes me they got big forts in the Netherlands. They got it's like They're, is it Rotterdam is like one of the biggest uh, has one of the biggest ports, busiest so, ports yeah. in the world or whatever. Naples is so be, also because the port is so efficient and so so and you can ship so many containers in. They can't scan every single one no, and go through every single one. Some of them one. just get through. So yeah, they're flying through. Oh, so even if crap. one in ten, Jimmy, one in ten, looks like gets we through. missed that container jam packed full of cocaine <laughs> again. <laughs> exactly, but it's so cheap to produce. I mean, how much do you think the farmers that are making this the the coca into cocaina, <laughs> cocaina. down in down in South America are getting paid? They ain't getting paid a lot. No, you talk about the cost of living crisis. Yeah, they can barely afford to uh, heat their their burrito, let alone fucking. <laughs> find a better way of life <laughs> it's miserable down there they Lady. can't even heat up their burritos they can't heat a burrito they got cold burrito burrito frio they've got over there <laughs> burrito uh. frito oh fuck's sake <laughs> Oh, I don't even me. think Frio is cold in Spanish. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I think it's Frio. actually. Uh, I think it's Frio. It's, it's actually it? Colderino, I think. Um, Colderino. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that is right. Fuck's sake. Got it. <laughs> so, anyway, the, the production costs are very low. Your biggest cost is loss oh. of shipment. If you ship a bunch over, if one of them goes through, you make uh, oh, money. Yeah. Do they do? Do they do all their eggs they in one the basket? They did the submarine as well. Did you guys see the cocaine oh, submarine? Yeah, this- they yeah, bought an old USSR sub. submarine and just filled it with cocaine, and then it... Uh, Submarina cocaina. <laughs> Submarina. It. Yeah, and then it surfaced um, probably off the coast of Belgium, honestly. Couldn't they just... Well, I don't think it's going all the way across the Atlantic. We did, yeah. That was the uh, the idea Jesus. was to send it across the Atlantic, yeah. Some, yeah, I think some there was a shoddy, like, on half-made it. sub. Oh, no, yeah. they can't I thought, be. I, thought they'd, I know they did from South America up to Miami. <laughs> and they, they got the, the cocaine there. But I don't know if they did it. Yeah. Uh, here's the thing. Couldn't you just put a load of cocaine in a torpedo and shoot it out? And when it. when it surfaces, there you go. You don't that even need to go close like to shore. Man, I, hope that, I, I fucking idea. hope that that torpedo uh, makes land somehow and then just explodes in the middle of my big New Year's Eve party that I'm planning on on hosting this year. Can you imagine that? Everybody's just Right like, on the southern coast of yeah, Florida. Yeah, just everybody's just, just, just ready to ring in the new year. Holy shit, the torpedo explodes. <laughs> cocaine for everybody! <laughs> <laughs> just like sniff in the air. Oh, shit. Oh, that'd be something. Yeah, it'd be be pretty incredible. All right, I got to pee. I'll be right back. All right, bud. All right, you do that. He's in his tracksuit. What trousers you got on today? Me? Yeah, you. Jeans? It's just you and me, buddy. I've got jeans on, normal jeans. I just, nice. Normal clothes. I look nice, normal. Nice. I've got normal That's clothes good. on. You, you, can go. you see why I thought you had a poncho on? The brown sort of, pu- not piping, but the brown part of the pattern, when you sit back like that, it looks like the edge oh, of it a looks poncho. Like it's- well, this was just one of my jumpers that didn't have any moths on it, so... Ah, ah um, moth-free. Moth-free and proud. As far as I know. I, although I have been, like, all all the podcasts, I've been, like, feeling itchy. Almost like mm. I am covered in moths. Uh, it's ridiculous. Oh, once, once you, I mean, we were seeing them 10 or 20 a night, and we were, like, <laughs> killing them. And Mrs. F, by the end, she, at first she was like, I can't stand killing these poor little things. I was like, I know, I feel awful. And they're like, do, 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 do. And I'm just like, yeah, I got gotcha. <laughs> and the cat was pouncing on them. We were like, get her, puss. You know, get that moth. Um, but eventually we just like, got him. It was like, yeah. So eventually you, you grow to despise your enemy uh, is what the, the message I would take from it. It's sad. But once we wiped out their base, that was it. GG. No more moths. But they'll be back and we're going to be ready. 
Don't you worry, Lewis. I heard mothballs were really bad for you. They're like not well, no, you don't need them anymore. They're That's like the illegal. Thing. No. They're like toxic. Well, we got these fucking. These are the kind of shit that they sell that that people believe. Fucking Mrs. F bought into this bollocks, right? Where you get this disc of some fucking wood, pine wood, or some some fucking. Well, oh, like cedar chest. wood with yeah, lavender it's meant to keep oil in some shit. A load of fucking bollocks, mate. You know what worked? That worked. And the <laughs> sticky triangles. You get a cardboard triangle. You hang it, and they get stuck in there. They're like, ah, that worked. And destroying their home base work. They're fucking cedarwood. <laughs> Load of bollocks. You can't potpourri them out of existence. That's how they got there in the first in place. Exactly. You've got to get in there and fucking crush them. Yeah. Ooh, I, I don't think down. we need to. Moths are I'm, gone. The war is over. I've got PTSD. I'm not concerned about, I'm not concerned about moths. Um, well, I am. But I'm not concerned about saving them. Do you know what I mean? I no, think there's, no, no. there's on the list of things that I care about. You know, if a bee, like was like worry about the all bees? sad in front of me i'd be like oh fucking b i'd pick it up and give it some you know squeeze a little tiny drip of honey on there and it's like blood there's more they honey than blood. i've seen in my life you got to give them blood you got to prick your finger and give them a tiny bit of blood that makes them strong that's that's uh my experience. for a bee that's why yeah we got vampire bees all over twickenham i've been starting a is whole this thing. true 100 percent. i believe you already that's weird so what you prick your finger you give it a little bit of blood yeah, and then th- this and is then how we end up. They with get a, a taste global for global apocalypse. Yeah, yeah. This is... But it's the it's the bees' turn for revenge. You know what goes around comes around. We've been fucking the bees over for too long, stealing their honey, killing them, pesticides, swatting them. I know people that go like, kill a bee. I was like, what the fuck are you doing? That's a bee, you fucking idiot. You may as well yeah. kill yourself because you the bees <laughs> run out. We're next. <laughs> yeah, I'm back. Good. I think that's a good good thing to say to him as well. How do you feel about bees? sips um i kind of like them actually i like bees like what kind of bees yeah. are we talking about Hun- like um just normal bees. honey bees bumblebees bumblebee big one i like them a big lot yeah. bees in general fantastic love them big yep. fan yeah me too you, yeah if you uh if you watch there is a youtube video of slow motion of bees coming and going from their hive they are really uncoordinated they're just like bumping into each other banging into things they can barely coordinate yeah, at all it's I know. quite funny we get a lot of bees um in our uh, in our garden in the uh, in the summer it's nice yeah. Yeah. they don't bug anybody sometimes they're just no, they're, they they're just, just pollinating they're helping yeah, they just get on they're helping out it's good shout Cracking out on that's, that's this week's shout out shout out to bees can we get a shout out to bees chat and do a big up to bees. big up uh, to bees as well i think you did a Everybody, mini shout out yeah. so we've done a mini shout out already a big shout, shout out, out and a big ups. Who was the big up? Did we big up bees and shout out? Bees? I think we did, yeah. I think they okay. deserve it, honestly. Can we get all bee emotes in chat, please? If you have a bee emote, now's the time to use it. Get the bee emotes going. Bees. Yeah. Bees. It's nice doing this live. What do you what do you guys think? Like like I think it's great. I the only say, problem is it's, yeah, it's getting loud. I forgot in we were even live a couple of live a couple of times, honestly. <laughs> like uh, just, it Why just feels like the same old... Because we can't edit out all of our controversial takes. All the cutback normally... Sams will have to be... They'll be out there now. I don't know. How much actually gets cut, though? We don't really say anything that bad. Tom, 60 it's, it's, to 70%. The stuff we cut out, Tom, it's like... It's... If Lewis just gets Tom, really racist sometimes... We'll 60 to, to 70% out, of the podcast is Lewis's racist rants, and we have to cut all of that. <sighs> yeah. It's pretty I've bad. I've tried to keep it to a low level today. You know, I started um, re-watching the other day. We were about... I think we are almost done season one. Father Ted. I haven't watched it in a oh, long time. Oh, what a show. Man, what it's a show. so funny. Jesus Christ, it's so funny. Yeah. It's got some great bits in it, old Father Ted. It's great. Yeah. It's great. Does someone, um, someone in chat just asked if we've seen the new season of The Crown yet, Sips. I, I started I watching like, a little bit of it. I feel I'm, like not, the Crown, I'm not sure like, about McNulty as, uh, prin- as uh, Charles. Well, Prince then Prince Charles. I know he's not Prince anymore. Hey. But yeah, it's it's okay. I, I don't know. Like, I think I just I watched all four seasons like back to back, and I think I'm like a bit crowned out now. You know? Um, yeah, I, 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 it is really good, but it's it's one of those stupid things where like I kind of don't want to watch it. And uh, I think this season, especially the the fifth season, is a bit more controversial because I think they're a little bit more making things up now. You know what I mean? They've been criticized. Right. For not being well, I guess it's because it's more even recent, trying to be we've accurate got better, anymore. <laughs> we've got yeah. better info about what happened, and huh. I think probably the pe- back in the day, it's so long ago that people are like, it probably was the same amount made up before. But um, the, uh, you know, the the uh, woman who plays Diana in the fifth season has nailed it, though she's really good. 
re- really, uh, re- really feels like well they done. nailed it every time with yeah. the casting and stuff. It's just I don't know really about cool uh, I don't know about the Prince Philip. The, the I I like the actor. I've seen him in lots of other stuff. I think he's great. I just don't know if him being cast as Philip of that age was 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 the best one. I, he seems all right. I don't know. I've only watched like half of the first episode. Like it's it's it, it's the crown so far. It doesn't feel like any worse or whatever. I think I'm just like not ready to get stuck into it right now. You know. Uh, I'll I'll come back around to it. I'm sure. But Olivia Coleman took a little while to grow on me, but she turned out great. She yeah, she's fantastic. Actually, she's a great the, actor. One of my favorites. The first uh, cast change I, I I didn't find too jarring. Actually, I thought it was pretty good. Thought it was. If well you done. watch um if you watch Peep Show, I think she was on some early series of that. She was she on a was, bunch. Yeah, of, she was the love interest. You watch a lot right? of early Peep show. Show. Yeah. yeah, but you watch a lot of early British comedy like uh, the late nineties, early two thousands. She was Olivia Coleman. You'd see her pop up on all, all kinds of things. Yeah, and now she's like this big deal actor which is great yeah she she's like multi-bafta it. winning actress, she won an oscar right? yeah. she won an oscar she right? actually won like, an oscar too holy crap i think it was for the favorite the favorite is an incredible film she was so fucking good in that olivia coleman's phenomenal absolutely phenomenal yeah yeah big i fan. think she used to work as like a cleaning lady or something probably I think like when she was getting started she yeah, wasn't probably. really like very do you want to maybe share the big ups like you want to big her up and maybe just like uh shout out to the bees and big up to I don't, olivia I don't coleman think, or? i don't think a shout out for an Oscar winner is really necessary. She's already achieved everything. She's a big, a like, the big Oscars up, have shouted her out. Yeah. Does um, she need it? No, I mean, she bees. doesn't need it, but I think it's nice. I mean, if she's right, listening well, right now, she'd appreciate it, I'm sure. Okay, as well. big up to Olivia Coleman. I am a massive fan yeah, of Yeah, I think big up for there you go. There deserved. You go. There you go. Um, well, there you go. Just a big up then. How long we got? Oh, God. We know what he's talking about now. <laughs> Have you guys been uh have you guys been gaming recently? I've been I've been yes. gaming. As usual, lots of gaming. I'm playing uh regrettably Overwatch I 2. I saw, yeah. You I told saw me you, you were out. out. I was. I it, mentally I am. And I think that's how I keep playing. Like I just don't even care anymore. Like I like I I, I log in I'm just like fuck, I'm not even having fun, but I just can't stop playing. I I think I so if something else came out that could like uh you know, catch my interest, I'd be gone in a in a flash, but for now I'm yeah. kind of in the trenches, you know. I played a bit of Cyberpunk 2077 and a bit of the campaign of Modern Warfare 2, which which both didn't. Neither of them particularly grabbed me. Um, but I was really sick last couple of weeks. Yeah, ago. you've been ill for a while. Was it? And was it's it COVID me a couple again? Of weeks to recover. Did you get? I fuck. I don't know. I I keep saying that I, this. I think it might. I'm worried. I have like some long COVID because every month I get like two or three days of like fever and fatigue, and I, I didn't believe that long COVID was a thing until I started getting it. <laughs> mm. You know, as 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 is the way of humans. Mm. You know, um, hey, if you get if, just... if you get fever symptoms, you could have an infection in your prostate, or you could also have an infection in your bladder. My pee stream is fine. <laughs> my, like my an balls expert, yeah. I'm an expert on um, this whole that whole my, area. My loads are not building up. The male anatomy um, now in the dishwasher. They yeah. are. They are being they're full in full flow i'm 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 getting up i'm not dizzy and i'm coming everywhere nice so i'm as evidenced by the uh the paintings behind you on the wall (laughs) yes and also you know i've made a note of that um i've I've, i'm on camera so i can't pretend that i've actually made a note but i'm (laughs) Uh, I've made a note of that porn star P Flax for later. Yeah, what Eva, was her name again? Her name? Eva Elfie. Eva Elfie. Eva Elfie. I'll write that down. You know, when she interviewed me, she started off. She was like, what, "How uh, are you enjoying the event?" What country is she from? She's Russian, I believe. Oh, okay. So she said to me, "How are you enjoying the event?" I was like, "Really good." She said, "Okay, question for you: uh, <laughs> Who do you think is the hottest Dota hero?" And I was like, <laughs> "Queen of Pain, easy answer." And I was like, "Now the questions will start being about Dota." Do you prefer asses or boobies? And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> Dota or sex? And I was like, right. well, Dota. Dota, obviously. I mean, it's guaranteed yeah, at least an hour of entertainment. Yeah. Dota, come on. So, you know, it was all, it was all saucy questions rather than uh, just regular I Dota was, questions. I think she might be coming on to you, you know. And, no, because well, she asked everybody the same questions. That's not, and she I'm was joking. interviewing a lot of very young guys there who were much better looking than me. She called her interview- interviews with hot Dota players, was what she called it. I was not on that set of interviews. I don't think oh, mine even made the cut. Interviews with other Dota players. Yeah, so other, I don't think mine's even going to make the cut. Yeah. Do you and you should have like, said Bristleback instead of Queen of Pain. Because like, <laughs> she wouldn't have even known either way, right? She doesn't know what the, what a Dota hero is. She probably doesn't even know what Dota is. She doesn't do porn 24-7. She's got Although time if to play she's Watch from Russia, stuff. she probably plays a shit ton of Dota, right? Let's be, let's yeah. be real here. She's probably like higher ranked than we are. Yeah. Probably out there being toxic in pubs. It wouldn't be, it wouldn't be very hard. I was Harold last time I uh, 
stuck in 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 Herald forever. I think last time I played Dota it was it was tough. Wait, no, yeah. did I get up to the brown one? Was it Guardian? Is it Guardian the next one up? I think I might. It have. goes um, Herald, Guardian, Crusader, Archon, Legend, Ancient, Divine, Immortal. I believe. No oh, man. Mm. Yeah. So so I was feeling great. So I played a bit of, a bit of Anno, which is my like return to game when I just want to turn off my brain and not think about anything sometimes i use like factorio satisfactory for the same sort of it's almost like a chore it's like doing a it's like doing the dishwasher you know taking all the plates out putting them in the right spaces we're <laughs> taking one plate and one cup out and one, putting it in the one single solitary tiny, cup tiny cupboard i'm wasteful on i'll you know I've, I'm, I've got plenty of space you know so i can just use multiple cups and glasses myself i'm not a get get uh, this guy huh yeah you know <laughs> Unbelievable. i want to make sure i've got space in that dishwasher so you know why not make sure yeah. the it gets good use out of the so yeah sorry no I, I i don't know i just like to i like to play these which they're basically jobs um these games uh, when you really get into them well dota, that's the same thing with dota is a is a full-time job if you get into it i think yeah like like any game that's addictive becomes this kind of um all-encompassing problem tedium yeah yeah, and you don't see it necessarily. You don't. You just. It's all always like a. It's like um. It's like a habit. You know. Yeah. You just automatically load up the game that you're playing that you're not enjoying. Um, you think that's but, how they feel I, in Belgium when they're all addicted to cocaine all the time? Well, maybe. I think, I think generally a lot of people do only play one game. And if you tell them, you know, if you ask them, do you love that game? They say, uh, uh, <laughs> you know. And so I think that like I've tried to fight that with. You know, Jingle Jam and um, Tiny Teams and like these 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 things where I, I try and force myself to play. You know where different. this all heads, right? This whole conversation heads. The new WoW expansion comes out on the twenty eighth of November. Guess who's going to be playing? It's going to be Lewis. Well, I'm actually going to be at a castle. I'm He's going a to a castle. They're, they're paying me to play it. In they're the going to pay him to play. It. You're going to so play it stream, anyway, though. You're you're looking channel. forward to it, aren't you? Um, you- I I always return to the world of warcraft because i spent 10 <laughs> years in there and met all of you guys there yeah. and this is one and does like to return to the <laughs> world of warcraft uh, it's such a sobering experience to return to one's origins of course and ah uh, yes where i met so many compadres compatriots friends comrades uh, colleagues and co-workers there in the world of warcraft as i like to call it um Sits on uh, semen from massive. <laughs> yeah, he's got his cum time glass <laughs> swirling around. Uh, I know, uh, you know, it's got a lot of fond memories, a lot of a lot of pathways in my brain, a lot of like serotonin. Or I don't know, fucking whatever the chemicals are that feels cozy, even though I know it's it's shit. A, it's and, dopamine. In way, it's in, endorphins, right? It it it, it unleashes your part part of of dolphins yeah, inside your brain. I'm, it feels like a good idea to return, and I definitely get hooked in it for a week or two, and then I realise that it's the same old shit. I think again, my my mantra is I refuse to do a daily quest. Like I refuse to do the same thing yeah. again. Yeah, like me too. I, even in Dota, I try and play different heroes every game. Like, I, like you're like I the guy that goes to the restaurant play. and has to order something different every time he goes as well, right? You can't be the... So annoying. You can't be the, uh, you know what, I like pizza and I like pizza from here, I'm just going to order pizza. You have to be yeah. like, I'm going to try, some try the prawn salad. Oh, you know, mine's really good. Can I try some of yours? <laughs> I have to force myself to <laughs> that do guy. that. That though, guy, To try yeah. something new. It's hard. Here, try some of this. Can I try some of yours? I'm starving. Uh-huh. It is easy. The easy option is just do what you... Do what you know. But I don't think that many of the ways that people think they're pushing themselves by ordering something different in a restaurant, it's not really, is it? You just just order the thing. Well, bear in mind, like. I... What about the ice cream really the, case the ice cream challenge? I'm lucky though. if there's two options, do you know what I mean? Normally there's No, like... now hang on. In Bristol there's a ton of fucking vegan restaurants and you drag me to them quite frequently. So I'm not going to have that you are out of options. I feel... As a healthy carnivore, there's a distinct lack of meat options in Bristol. It feels like, in fact, I'm being swarmed by by liberal vegan agendas everywhere I go in Bristol. God bless. Well, I mean, for example, Ravs and Duncan went out a couple of times this week. I couldn't even go out 
with them though. They were a couple really? of places. They went to Spitfire, which is this grill. That place. sounds like a meat place to me. And they went Spitfire. to this steak place as well, which had called. Actually, did I go? I did. I tell you, I did go with them. Bloody steak, Steve's steak place. Well, Slab back in the day, me. me and you, when I was a meat eater and, and Sips was a vegetarian, we were in America and we we, we would go to like Morton Steakhouse yeah. with poor old Sips, that and was there fine. would not be a single vegetarian thing. No, on the but menu, I got the macaroni. They tried to put meat on it though. They tried to put meat on everything. <laughs> it's like, it's can I have the macaroni, please? And they're like, do you want bacon on that? No, just macaroni, please. Like, it's like, they don't need bacon on everything. But like, they they insist, man. They love bacon on everything yeah. there. And if it's not so if it's not bacon, it's bacon bits. They they'll put sprinkle some salty bacon bits on anything. Do you remember that sushi place we went to in Vegas? I always bring it back to this sips, but. We went to this sushi place, really, really fancy with you. Yeah, and they brought I got a out big this bowl of like rice. mound of <laughs> mound of fish. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was a literal. It looked like a hog roast. You guys were only going it was for seafood. It. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't it like um, yeah. not eat, it was like a hundred bucks a head for that. Like you, but you it, eat fish, right? Chris? I don't eat fish. No, really? Yeah, no, I don't eat it. The proper. So I just got some egg fried rice in a bowl. While <laughs> these guys were just like <laughs> eating fish, it was good. Yeah, I'm pretty. Was, you know, I'm a pretty basic eater. You were though. pretty chill about yeah, it. I don't really at mind. the time, but yeah. we all felt bad. And now, now, like it's the, the shoes on the other foot. Because I went out to this steak place with Ravs Duncan and everyone, and. um and there was a, the only vegan option was a cauliflower steak, right? Which I was like, oh, cauliflower steak. That's that's the same price as a regular steak. What no, is up with that? A fraction. That's what the price. they do. That's like, what they do in like, London. You want the cauliflower steak? It's the same price as a regular steak. Yeah, but that's oh, London, though. Like you, but it wasn't. You, know, you always end up paying more for everything in London. Right? Yeah, but what's it's, the it justification for that? It wasn't some sort of actual money. steak. They just want more it money. was a cauliflower that had been b- cooked in an oven or boiled or something. Right, so it right. was like it was just basically the entire fucking head of cauliflower. <laughs> Um, that was all sort of so ready soft. And the, the, the steak place that we went to, I can't remember the name of it, it's in Bristol. You have to cook your own steak, right? Okay. So you go you, to a place and you have to cook your own food? Yeah, it, it comes with like a hot stone. And what you the, have this is to quite like, popular. Yeah, yeah. I hate this. Right. <laughs> For so many reasons, paying you like, to cook me food so I don't have to cook the food. Like uh, the, it's an exactly experience. It's meant to be an experience. Here. It's meant to be fun. I like to. I, I, not, I would love to I'm experience somebody against. making the food for me instead of me making the fucking food. That's the experience. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's I don't mind it? when it's like certain things, like hot pot or whatever. And some people like their cr- carrots crunchy. Other people like their carrots fucking mushy. Whatever. Hot pot's like, different I feel like though. Hot fine. pot's different. I but, think. But That's but but steak. I feel like when I'm going, if if I was still eating a steak, I'd want to make sure it was cooked properly by a absolutely by, by, a, by a chef or whatever, by, by a, a real, professional chef, a yeah. professional chef who knows when it, it, it's like it's ready. I don't know how long I'm supposed to cook a steak on a stone or whatever. All right, here's an especially idea, especially not a fucking cauliflower. Basically, here's an like, idea. you got to so practice at is, home. You got to microwave this cauliflower. Microwave a stone, <laughs> get it real hot. <laughs> that sounds safe. It'll be fine. <laughs> You can make a rock. Right? You, you go, you go to a you go to a cafe. You go to a cafe. They give you everything you need to bake a cake. Yeah. And you bring you your cup of tea, and then you've got a little oven. And you have to make the cake, and it comes out, and then you decorate it, and you make your own cake. It's uh, it's it, you know, it's like the bakery equivalent to bringing you a hot stone and cooking your steak. You get to bake your own cake right then and there. Yeah. Do you know what they could do? Quid. They could fucking you could go to quid. a restaurant. You'll sit down. And you'll be like, oh, I have the chips, please. And they just bring you a fucking raw potato, <laughs> drop it on the table, give you a potato peeler, and give you, like, a fucking, like, little hot pot of boiling hot oil, right? Good luck. You give a slice, a piece of kitchen roll to dry them off after you've deep fried them. I you mean, know where this is popular? We don't have to do any of this stuff. This sounds like the number one place on TripAdvisor that I just Right, described, but that's the thing is, the n- n- now what you do is you, you go and you get your, your ready meal or you get your fast food or whatever, something easy, you just bosh it in the oven. So you go out so that you have to cook. They make you cook at the restaurant. Oh, That's I what see. people want. I'm gonna, like, oh, I've got an finally. idea to sell an experience. I'm going to set up a booth, and people come to my booth, and they queue up, and all they do is give me money, and I give them nothing in return. <laughs> <laughs> it's streaming and also um, <laughs> that's the experience you get to stand in a line and then give me money that's it that's the, i'm selling an experience it's an experience yeah that's my stream <laughs> it is basically my stream yeah but uh you, that know, is, the- you are yeah you're selling an experience and, it, and it, it, like you said p flax it makes people people do it because they think this will motivate me when i get back home to cook for myself 
you know it makes people hungry and like feel like oh man i could just uh, people it's like people paying for the gym like a massive subscription to force them to go they're like when if i'm paying this much money that'll force me to go and of course it doesn't right um never works that sort of trying to trick yourself with that those sort of things yeah like where god i hate the gym where does it go <sighs> so boring fuck me. i haven't been in years and years no and me years. neither i just don't want to go but like i i know i should go but like god there's got to be a, an easier way to just like kind of get in shape that doesn't require any effort whatsoever because like i don't want to go there i don't really right, try this get those electrode things they don't work strap on your body they don't work <laughs> Apparently, apparently you can overdo it with those things as well. Because some people, no, if you can overdo it, no, that means it because must be apparently something. it's like you're only meant to use them for ten minutes a day. But but the the the, the average mentality is, well, I'm just sitting here. I'll put it on all day. So it's like, <laughs> so it's like I've done a hundred workouts in a day or whatever. But apparently, it can kill you if you do that. So don't do that. <laughs> no. Obviously, <Yeah. laughs> no. It sounds like a terrible, a terrible old school. It's like those jiggler. <laughs> Jiggler bands that they put those women oh, the, the uh, those things, yeah. What was um, the idea there? You like just lean into it. You can see how that would be fun. <laughs> oh, wow, can I pay to do that? Absolutely, man. Step up. <laughs> <laughs> what is going on? How was that a thing? So Why did they think know. it was anything? I'm gonna. What was it? I don't know if it was called the jiggle bands. I feel like that doesn't tone you. It just loosens you even more. You know. I think it's got it's like, to right. Yeah, leave you feeling loose and exhausted, oh. probably, right? Of course, there's a BuzzFeed article. I worked out on a 1950s fat jiggling machine, and here's what happened. Of course, that's an article on BuzzFeed. What was I thinking? Yeah, I, I don't know. I think people were different kinds of overweight back then, though. All the women on those machines were looked like perfectly normal women. I think that's the uh, thing. back then, people used to, to they used actually the jiggle cook with lard and stuff though you know like they, they, like it was a different type of, of fat back then i think i don't think uh, i think people are a little bit more conscious of uh well it, i say that was it? people well, are fat and people what are, you are ramming about? shit in their mouth constantly <laughs> people used to eat like lard and corned beef and yeah, dripping yeah. and all this stuff you're right and, but they weren't that fat no, back no, then no, no, so no. like what the it, heck is going on now because people really don't really eat that well, stuff loads anymore of sugar too. they didn't they didn't eat as much i think and also there wasn't fast food Think about Starbucks. Starbucks didn't exist in the 50s, right? You can walk in and get a giant pot of sugar this fucking big for four bucks or whatever. That's just, you just sit there for an hour and just in caramel syrup and sugar. Like, oh, and is, cream. It, is it just the sheer yeah. amount of sugar that people Volume consume? of stuff. Blah, because I think blah, sugar's blah. in everything, isn't it? It's in yogurts. It's in, oh, it's in orange everything. juice. It's in everything Cereal, you think healthy. Yeah, yeah. And corn syrup is a big thing in the States. Yeah, they yeah. stick that shit in everything. Their bread has tons of sugar in it. It's just sugar, 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 yeah, sugar. Yeah. Piled in. Right. There. The, I the, so I think sugar. that's changed. That's changed. And I think probably people cooked from home a lot more than they used to. Um, I mean, we it. still people, we still people buy a bunch more shit. We still cook at home all the time. Yeah, we also do less exercise wise, right? I do. I, think people, I do no exercise. Like my how many my jobs daily exercise is like walking to my kids to school and back. Like it's like it's like a two and minute like, walk. Like, ah! <laughs> and like I don't do anything. Lose, yeah. I mean, I guess I, like, pick up the baby and stuff. Does that count as, like, uh, weight training a little bit? She's getting How heavy. big's the baby? She's pretty big now. She's getting heavy. I did. I did feel like when I was at that point where I was picking up children a lot, my back muscles were pretty good. Yeah. I think now, my... I, 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 my shoulder's killing me. All I did was sleep. Yeah. I went to sleep. I woke up. My shoulder's fucked. That's not good. You got a bad shoulder from sleeping. Something's gone Fuck, wrong. Fuck, I woke up this morning and I was just like, I, maybe I'm like like slowly losing my mind or something. But like, you ever have those days where you wake up and you're like, I don't even know what fucking day it is. I don't know what the heck is going on. That's every Who day. Who just woke me every up? Every day. Like, uh, like, I just did not, like, my, it took so long for my brain to sort of think like, I think it's Friday. Like, I, what do I have to do today? Like, it was, it was really weird. It That's, I wake up every morning. I say to Mrs. F, what day is it? She tells me. <laughs> what year is it? And I say, yeah, <laughs> I slept too long. <laughs> you slept, you slept for eight hours, you idiot. Oh, yeah. Oh. But yeah, no, every, every morning I wake up, no idea well, what day it is. For me, I keep fit by, um, just so much sex. <laughs> just you know, jacking just, off just, all the just, damn time. <laughs> consistent, you know, three times or four times a day oh. you know i've i've been 39 years of well obviously hey are you gonna be 40 next long. year i am it was just your birthday recently so so next year is the big 4-0 huh 
Yeah, I'm a bit. I'm feeling it. We gotta take Lewis to a strip club, Flex. We talk about it often enough. For his 40th birthday, let's take him to a strip club and let's get yeah, him a baby. champagne room as well. But here's and here's what we should do. We should make. We should hire the strip club out and do a live stream in the strip club. Wait, or at least a video. At least a video. We could just hire a prostitute to come and do a strip, a private strip, for Lewis at but his I want, I want apartment, this and we can captured. live stream. I want this captured. Yeah. So I don't think they'll let us live stream inside the club, you know. I bet they would. Nah, I bet the ones in Bristol are pretty. There, there was one in Bristol that was pretty chill. I reckon if we said, "Look, you can have a we, GoPro we are, on there and, and ask for a champagne room," <laughs> or put his GoPro on his dick and, uh, and go, to the, go to the fucking. Strip oh my club. god! Oh, yeah. How's that great. not been done? <laughs> How's that not been yeah, done? Yeah, we could take him to the Hooters. The one, the one remaining Hooters. Where is it? Nottingham. Nottingham. But they've opened another one. Where's the other one, chat? They opened a second one. It was a big deal. I got a lot of emails about it. Holy crap! I get him. Oh, that would be that. Would, Liverpool. Uh, Liverpool. Oh, okay, I've never been to Liverpool. I've been to Nottingham. It's before. all right. Let's go to it's Liverpool right. and we'll take Lewis to Hooters Let's for his fortieth birthday. Let's do some birthday. fucking northern shithole version. Right? Let's do it in like northern nice. shithole. Like any, any scousers in chat? Any scousers? <laughs> oh, they in don't chat? do. I don't think they have them down in like Cornwall and like the the Midlands and stuff like that. You've got to go north if you want to get if you want to get raunchy and spicy, right? Like that's. I think that's how England works. Are less. Some northern shithole. <laughs> The 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 what was it the European capital of culture or something it was. Let's a few take, years a, ago. take him to Doncaster. Let's show him take that him to there. Hey, you want a strip club? Come to Rochdale, pal. <laughs> fucking birds air are lovely. Get your fucking toddlers out. Holy fucking great! Come oh, come oh, to oh, Hull, great. Come oh, come to Hull, Lewis, for your full Come to, to all. Fucking what? Jeez. Well, you should come to Grimsby if you want to see the best birds. <laughs> Grimsby. <laughs> Grim's bird. Grimsby. Uh, yeah, I. Um, I mean, look, just I'm just saying. Let's just let's. If you're gonna do it, let's do it proper. Let's do it nice. Let's push the boat out. Where? Let's not just cheap go to, out. There's one around the corner from the office in Bristol. Go, I don't no, want to just go down. to Hooters and have to have a fucking. No, it's not Hooters. I'm saying we'll go to a fucking strip club. Oh, the strip club. Yeah, what they a have like a white tiger steak. or something, right? Fuck there's me. There's one in Bristol. It's very cool. It's run by a woman. It's not. You know, I read it. We read all about it when we did this. I don't want to do any of this stuff. I'm. We're going. I'm too awkward and nervous. And we're going. It doesn't work. We're going. It doesn't work. This is the best time to go when you're feeling awkward and nervous. You got to get you out of your comfort zone because that's when the magic happens. Do you know what? Push yourself. Fine, I'm in. Let's book it. Do we book we'll or do we just out. turn up? No, nah, we'll just know. turn up. We, just, we don't need to excuse book. Excuse me, do we need to book or do we just do it? Do it. Just, <laughs> no, just make been. a mental note of it. I've never been. Just make a, a mental um, note. Guys, I'm trying to get back on the rails here. I'm trying to get, <laughs> I'm trying to get back on the rails. Right, that's enough short podcast. All right, <laughs> thank you, everyone. Love you. Okay. Goodbye. See you Bye, later. all. Bye. Love you lots. Bye. <laughs>